Hey guys, I'm going to be catching up on some birch box stuff. So if you guys have been trying to see what my birch box were that I never got a chance to review, um, I've got them right here. First of all is my October of 2015 birch box. So this one came with a backpack um, inside of it. Uh, I cannot find where I put it. I think I put it in some of my camping stuff that I have buried away. But uh, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on my computer. So that's it right there. I know it's uh, backwards for you guys, but that's what the backpack looks like. It's a super thin, ultra light backpack. A lot of the reviews complain about that the stitching basically falls apart, the handles fell apart right away. Um, I think it's cool just for a simple, like, put a bag within a bag so that you have an extra bag in case you need to go um, or add some more stuff. Um, great for just shoving in a simple pocket. You go on a flight or something, you at least have one extra bag with you. Um, that backpack itself sells for $30, so uh, within the box itself makes it already worth its value. Um, but uh, now I'm going to go through what else is actually in there. Um, I don't have the card also that came in there. What the hell happened to it, I have no idea. If it's gone for a year, who knows, it could have walked itself away. Um, but this month's theme is peak performance. And uh, basically it's just going to be getting you to your peak. So inside here I've got a few things. First I've got a Clinique for Men face scrub. This is 100 milliliters. Um, again, Clinique for Men. I can't really say anything about it because I haven't used it, but it goes for $21 and it's full size. Next we have a Ursa Major 4-in-1 Essential Face Tonic. So here it is. Got kind of a little spout on there as well, which is kind of cool because you don't have to figure out how you're going to put it on. Uh, this one itself is 8 fluid ounces, uh, but typically goes for $26. Um, let me actually check that that's 8 fluid ounces, but it doesn't say, but according to the website it says that it's 8 fluid ounces. Next we have uh, CW Beggs and Sons Shower Shampoo and Shave. Um, oh, no, so this is 1 ounce, so these all have to be way less than that. So the 200 milliliter size goes for $16. Um, there it is right there. Uh, kind of like an all-in-one. Uh, I really don't like all-in-ones because they don't really do anything great, but they are great when you're traveling or in a pinch. Um, so this will probably go in my travel stuff. And then lastly, I have some cologne, which is Helmet Ring Curion. So it says, developed for uh, modern men and women. This clean spin on leather fragrance uh, first awakens the senses by uplifting citrus and spice plum notes. Meanwhile, Faint musk and woodsy balsamic notes can hold their own from day to night. So let's see how this one is. There's the uh, little travel thing there. Um, I hate to say this, but this literally smells like you walk into Nordstrom or some other department store and you just randomly try something that's on the counter. I mean, this is basically what it smells like. Um, I've got. It's got a little bit of like fruitiness to it, so I guess that's where the plum characters come from. It's a little, uh, yeah, it's it definitely smells a lot sweeter than most men's cologne that uh, I've used or tried, but it's got a little bit of spice to it as well. But in the end, I mean, it it still is typical department store cologne. I, I'll be honest, there's there's nothing really notable about it that that I'd go back to for any reason. So, anyways, overall, uh, what I'm gonna say about this box is that that backpack I kind of missed out on if you watch some of my birch box videos I talked about how I just missed like the cutoff time to actually choose between the lifestyle item I wanted in my box and I really wanted the backpack and I didn't get it so glad that I got it in this box um, again I've used it once um, so far just shoved it inside a backpack then used it as extra uh, bag to bring stuff back uh, from home uh, out here to Las Vegas so um, it worked out great for that. Uh, just shoved some extra stuff in there and it basically acted like a bag with straps. But beyond that, uh, people have basically made some complaints about it. So, I mean, it's it's inside a box that you uh, paid, what, $10, $20 a month for. Um, I think that's what Birchbox costs now. That's been so long. But uh, anyways, this box itself, just because of that backpack, uh, to me, was worth it. Um, but the rest of the stuff is kind of give or take. I'm glad that this is a large size and um, also face tonic which uh, is kind of a nice addition I haven't seen them add that in many of their boxes but 
Uh, overall, um, it's all right. I'll try it out. You know, now that it's like a year and a half since I got this box, but um, uh, that's it for the Birchbox.